I think that everybody now can see just in 24 months the complete turnaround. The attitude in the city is really, really good. Um, there are tons of cranes in the sky right now. We're rebuilding the medical center uh, as we speak. Um, GE has basically said, yes, we're going to bet on the future of New Orleans and brought 300 jobs here. Not, and that's important for a lot of different reasons. One of the largest corporations in the world brought jobs here that were based on knowledge and information technology. That's not what we had before. Remember, everybody said, look, we got to get out of the tourism business. We can't just do that. We've got to get into a 21st century knowledge-based economy. Well, GE was the first down payment on that. So if you think about it just for a minute, broadly, um, and you think about what the city went through post-September 11th when the tourism industry went to almost nothing, and we got back right before Katrina. Then we had Katrina, we had Rita, we had Ike, we had Gustav, we had the National Recession, then we had the BP oil spill. Um, all of those things, and we had the financial meltdown of the federal government, all those things make areas of the country um, much, much more difficult to bring back because the foundation and the strength that you need to bring back communities in distress don't exist. Having said, having said all of that, the city of New Orleans has, and the people here have done an incredible job, but it's frustrating living through that and trying to get, to get rid of the old stuff that didn't matter and keep the old stuff that does. And that balance is really kind of difficult. I would say the most intractable problem is crime. Public safety is really the most important issue facing the city. Our murder rate has since 1979, maybe before then, but that's where our data takes us back, has always been every year without fail, seven to ten times the national average. And so this is not a, something that just got created, but it's something we want to focus our attention on because we've got to break this cycle of violence. There's some really tough things going on in the city, but there's some glorious things that are just irrefutable. Besides the economic development numbers that I've given you, the city of New Orleans is clearly the leader, almost internationally, in sports and entertainment. When you think about what we've done in the last 120 days, we've had 12 of the biggest events that have existed in the country, and we did them all here. And it has just been an unbelievable run. On top of that, we got the NBA All-Star Game for 2014, and we're preparing for the Super Bowl in 2013. Any other city in America would just love to have a piece of what it is that New Orleans is able to do. And a city can't really do all of those things if it's not functioning well.